Welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right in and see what I'm talking about this week. Now in this video, I'm talking about pretty much the good, the bad, and the bad of, you know, being on this journey. It's all not good. I've had some times where I've fallen off the wagon and there's been some bad times. I know I talk a lot about the good times, but there have been some bad times. So let's jump right in and see what I'm talking about. And I know a lot of you will understand what I've been going through. Good afternoon, everybody. This video is gonna be a little bit different than some of my other ones. This video, I'm going to talk about the bad of my journey. Because I feel that, like, in my videos, I tell you about, you know, the good things. And I try to give tips and stuff like that. But in this video, I'm going to tell you about some of the bad things that I've been going through. Walk to the parking lot. I make sure I don't get hit by a car. But anyway... On this journey, like I said, a lot of you guys know that I started this journey on March the 1st of 2020. Oh, I'm out here rocking my fro and saying, let's go. I had to get that in there. That's when all of that got started. Rocking the fro and telling you guys to get up, get out, do something. You know, I try to be positive in all of my videos. So I guess that's probably why I haven't really told about me actually falling off the wagon, which I have. I've fallen off the wagon several times through this journey. And, you know, in the beginning when I fell off the wagon it was a little bit hard to get back on it but I would think about my goal my I want to be fit by 50 so I would think about that and I would also, to help with the sweet tooth, I think I had talked about that before. So like back in January, I had started drinking apple cider vinegar. And I had talked about that, how I would do the shots. And so when I would fall off the wagon I would do a shot, which, you know, I still kind of do the shots now, every once in a while. When I feel that craving for that, the sweets. So, I'll take a, a shot, maybe once a day, sometimes twice a day, just to get that out of my mind. It's just the devil. That's all it is, just the devil that is saying, oh, you know, Corrine, you're doing pretty good. So I don't want you to get to your first goal. And I think that's why I haven't gotten to my first goal 
is because my mind is like playing tricks on me. I've been trying to reach my first goal. It's been about a month. And I just keep going up and down and up and down. It's not like I'm gaining a whole bunch as I'm going up and down and up and down, but it's just the fact that I just keep going up and down and up and down. And it's more like ounces, start off ounces and pounds and ounces, then I think the most I may have gone up maybe like two pounds and then ounces and I'm tired of the seesaw back and forth so I'm ready to get to that first goal I did fall off the wagon again recently as of it was last week I went to the store and in my mind, I wanted some chocolate pop tarts. So I bought me some chocolate pop tarts and I ate the chocolate pop tarts. I didn't get a big box. I got the one that has, I think it's eight in the box, two per wrapper. So what I did was I would only eat one because you know they come in two i only ate one and then i would take the other one and put it in a ziploc bag and put it back in the box so then i would eat the, the other one the next day <clears throat> so let's just say this started last monday ate one ziploc bag then Tuesday, I'm like, ooh, Monday's Pop-Tart was good, so I'm gonna eat two. So I get the one in the Ziploc bag, then I open up the next one. So I have two, and then put that one in the Ziploc bag. So last week, I was eating, it's not like I was eating a whole bunch of stuff. It was just, I guess because I hadn't had chocolate Pop-Tarts in a long time is why my body wanted chocolate Pop-Tarts. But I haven't had any of the apple cider vinegar yet because I'm trying to see if I can do it without it. And so far this week, I told myself, I said, self, we are not going to have any sugar this week at all. It looks shiny in this video, but anyway, so today is Wednesday, the 14th of October, and as of right now, I have not had anything sweet. And see, I'm back at work, and in the room that I'm in, I love this tree behind me, but the room that I'm in is like they come. And they fill the bowl up every day with chocolates and the little mini candy chocolate candy bars, Snickers and Hershey's and stuff. Cause you know, thanks, not Thanksgiving. Um, what's that holiday? Halloween. Halloween is like right around the corner. This is the bowl I was telling you guys about. It is just about empty and they filled this bowl up yesterday. And then here's the cupcakes that they had yesterday. One left. They were celebrating birthdays. And so to keep filling up the bowl, they had cupcakes yesterday because they were celebrating birthdays for the month of October. So I did good though. I didn't get any of it. I didn't desire to eat any of it. So, so far so good. 
and I'm hoping that me taking and putting forth a little bit more of an extra effort this week, it'll help me get to my first goal. And like I said, it hasn't been easy. And I know that, you know, different people that are on this journey, I know that it hasn't been easy. You guys know what I'm going through. So, that's why I try to be positive about things. But that's why I came to the realization that everything about this journey isn't positive. So, I just need to take it upon myself to tell the falling off the wagon story and you know I I'm not a real big pop Midwestern soda southern people drinker but if I wanted something I would get like a ginger ale or a Sprite I never did really drink like the dark pop but during last week, if I wanted something, that's what I would get. But I'm better this week. And I don't really see a lot wrong with ginger ale and Sprite. I don't drink it all the time because I mostly drink water. But I just got to get back in the mind frame. And I think it may have had a little bit of something to do with coming back to work because last week was when the teachers came back in person. So my body was used to being at home doing this journey. So I'm back and it's a change. So I gotta make sure that you know, I'm doing what I gotta be doing. See, look, there's people down there. I don't know if you can see them. They're walking on the track. So a lot of people, you know, on their health journeys around here. A lot of people that's not. But I gotta do what's best for me because I wanna be fit by 50. And I plan on it, doggone it, to be fit by 50. I'm not going to let anything else stand in my way. And I will say this. If you fall off the wagon, it's okay. Because nobody's perfect. Just make sure you can get back on that wagon. Don't let it drag you. Get back on that wagon. And then continue on because our health is important. And like I said in one of my other videos, I wanna be around here for my children. I wanna be around here for myself. So, I just wanted to, you know, come on here, talk about, you know, some of the bad of being on this journey it's not all bad you know get used to eating different foods since i've stopped eating the meat it's not all bad at all and i know in the long run my health will be a lot better for it so i'm going to close because i see I've been talking for about a good 13 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and close for right now. And I just want to thank everybody for your support, for watching my videos, checking out my channel, leaving your comments. If there's anybody that has questions, more comments, leave them i do respond back and i just want to say have a great day 
get up get out and do something you see here how beautiful it is it's a beautiful day beautiful wednesday afternoon so until next time i'm going to say peace and blessings to you all have a great week have a great weekend and you will see me next saturday My name is Corrine and his name is Jemiah. Both have Teespring websites. Teespring is an e-commerce platform that allows people to create and sell custom apparel. The company was founded in 2011 in Providence, Rhode Island. We sell anything from t-shirts, face masks, cell phone cases, socks, and much more. So take a look at just a few of the items we have to offer. And if you see anything you like, just stop by our site and check us out. We both can be cool in a way. It's two generations out in play. Old school, new school, what are those? Look at those shoes, that's a no-no. The new school's coming with that new flow. Classic, we're running our own show. You set us on the right path, of course. Now the new school is going up with doors. But there's some problems that y'all have with us. Our style is weird and our songs are fun. It's a work them out, you guys have to trust. So let's get along because it's a must. That's a must. Yeah, it's a must. Tobias Paul.